Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelis. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. In the first episode of Back to Basics, I showed you why you couldn't decoupage over dark colors. Well, in this episode, I'll be showing you one of the ways you can. I'll be using these beautiful bottles one of my best friends gave me. If you're interested in finding bottles like this, I believe he finds them at the thrift store. I have a lot more where these came from. Thank you, Goldo. To start, I'll be giving both bottles two coats of black, letting them dry between each one. While they dry, I'll be preparing the roses. One of the ways to be able to decoupage over a dark color is by using printouts. I designed a sheet with the assorted roses I wanted to use. I printed them out on my inkjet printer. Black and white picks from the inkjet printer don't seem to bleed when decoupaging. I can't say the same for colors. So if you wanna use color, make sure to use a laser printer. Once they're all cut out, I like to add an extra white base to the back. This step is preference. Later on in the video, I'll show you the difference between taking this step and not. This step is a bit tricky. You might want to paint the back of the whole paper before cutting it to make it easier on yourself. I don't know why I didn't think to do that myself. <laughs> oh well. The reason you can decoupage this and not paper napkins into a dark surface is that it's thicker and has a white base, unlike the thin paper napkins. Let's say you have a paper napkin with the design you want, but you can't use it because you want to decoupage it onto a dark base. With this technique, all you have to do is make a copy of your paper napkin and follow these steps. However, it's paper, so take that into consideration if your canvas has curves. Unlike the thin paper napkin, it won't lay flush to the edge of a round surface unless you missed it, and you can only miss it if it's a laser printout. Once they're dry, you can decoupage them onto your piece the same way you would with the paper napkins. Place some Mod Podge on the spot you will be placing the rose. Place the rose and then seal it with another layer of glue. Here I show you a side-by-side -side comparison of one that I didn't paint the back with white. It's only a slight difference, so it's up to you to take the extra step or not. That's it for the decoupage part. I'm going to add highlights to the raised parts to finish the look. I do this by gently adding white paint with my finger. Once it's dry, I go back in detail with the black. Lastly, once it's dry, I seal it. And there you have it. Now you know one way to decoupage over a dark color. Once I find someone who knows the technique using the paper napkins, I'll be sure to share it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Also, if there's a technique that I use and you would like me to explain in more detail, please let me know. I hope this video was helpful and that it inspired you to make something of your own. Just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.